Hello viewers, welcome to Frost Gate. Today we will be farming collectibles in West Lutera in the game Lost Ark. Our first farm location is in Battlebound Plains at the top left of the map. Make sure to stay and watch the whole video as it will include two different farm locations this time. This first location features three packs of mobs including one mini boss and one elite mob. Start by clearing the camps in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction, AoEs will be key to a fast clear. At the top here is a cat-like mini boss, which helps with rare drops, so make sure you're taking it down along with the other mobs. My class and build was left with only a few seconds of downtime after some rotations, including this first pull. My favorite things about this spot include very little competition from other players, over 20 mobs total, and a variety of at least 6 different mob types, which should increase drop rates. It also features the one lead at the top, which I feel gives a higher chance at more rare collectibles. On some rotations, you'll notice that the mini boss is not spawned yet, as it has a slightly longer respawn time than the rest of the mobs. That's okay, clear the pack and move on. Other times, during your clear, you'll notice the boss is up, but the, uh, the additional adds are not yet. That's okay, wait for the additional adds. Then group everything up, and take out the mini boss as well. So it's as simple as that. After about an hour of farming, I was able to completely fill my collectibles for West Lutera, including the purple rare. I'm going to make some room in my inventory here. And I'll pull out the extras that I had after my farm session. I'll go ahead and consume this uh, rare as well. And you can see everything is filled. Now I know RNG does play a part in this, so I'm going to show you a second location, which you might have some better success with. This is uh, at Bilbrin Forest. Again, this is for West Lutera, and this is a collectible farm spot. We're going to be at the very bottom of the map here, and we're going to start working away our way around this tree and rock formation. There will be a total of five packs of mobs, consisting mostly of wolves and bears. There is no true elite mobs at this spot, making the clear very easy for lower level characters. The pros of this location include that the, there are more mobs, there's little to no downtime on the clear, and the mobs are easier to kill. The cons include the occasional visit from other players that can disrupt your clear, as well as no elite mobs for a greater rare drop. Although drop rates are great at this location, my own personal success was much greater at location number one at the start of this video. I was able to loot all of the blues and the purple uh, during my one hour session there. 
However, you may find the second spot better. Give it a try and let me know how it worked out. As always, if you found this video helpful, please drop a like. If you are new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell to be notified of future videos. And from all of us here at Frost Gaming, happy hunting.